All right, time for a single lives matter、uh, sermon. I haven't done one in a while, and I have a few subscribers who aren't exactly on board with、um, the, the grievance that I have. They think that what's wrong with helping somebody who needs a helping hand, you know, with childcare, with various things. I don't have a problem with helping people who need help. I have a problem when. Help is only reserved for a certain class of people in a certain class of circumstance, just because it is politically correct to do so. That's what I have a problem with, and I have a very good example now. Now that I've gone through、um, some of the situations where I could have used some help, but it、uh, didn't flow naturally from the environment that I live in here in Seattle. So I work at a tutoring center. And、um, I haven't had to help anybody here, but at other tutoring centers, I've had coworkers who had childcare emergencies. I've had coworkers who had、um, house repair emergencies. Think about it; they're privileged enough to own a house here in the Seattle area, and they need my help because they need to work on repairs for their house. Meanwhile, after work, I come out here to my car to sleep. Think about that. Just stop and think about that for a second. Does this sound fair to you? I mean, I don't mind helping them, but at the same time, I had an issue two months ago at my current job, which I kind of love. But there was one minor issue that I wish we could address. So every Monday through Thursday, I have two groups of students that I work with. I got、uh, one from ten to twelve, and then another one from twelve thirty to two thirty. Now the schedule. To give you an idea of how much I dislike that schedule, either one, cha- either one of these changes would be great for me. I wish we could just have no break in between. That way, I can sprint through it and be done with it, or have a longer break where I could actually do something meaningful. Now, here's why: it, 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 the, the half-hour break is just the wrong medium.、Uh, it, it, it's so weird. Having no break or having a one-hour break, either one would be preferable to me. Here's why. I had gone out at twelve o'clock one day. I I have a favorite fast food restaurant, Five Guys, and the reason I like them is I have a lot of dietary restrictions. Their fries are made of peanut oil, which I react very well with, and、um, all of the cooks there know me, and they know they have to change their gloves because I have dietary restrictions. And a shout out to the location in Bellevue, because not a, not all Five Guys have been so、uh, good about this. The one in Redmond, especially. Sometimes I tell the cashier, "Hey,、um, do you mind changing your gloves?" And he doesn't think it's a big deal. He doesn't even tell the cook. I have to walk around the corner to tell the cook. I lived in Missoula, Montana, for some time. The Five Guys there, they had a few good people and a few people who didn't think it was a big deal.、Uh, I think there was a Five Guys in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, and.、Uh, The, during the time I was in Wallace, Idaho, they had a lot of turnover, and it was always a novelty when I had to bring that up. So it's hard to say there. Anyways, the Five Guys at Bellevue I really love, but unfortunately, from the tutoring center to the Five Guys, it's like a seven-minute drive away. And this was my first week working there, where I, where I didn't really think about scheduling issues. I drove there. By the time the food came, I didn't have all that many minutes to eat. And it made me uncomfortable. I don't like rushing meals.、Uh, I, I'm a recovering、um, eataholic, and、um, to rush a meal like that just it, it puts a b- bad vibe in my recovery process. I kind of looked like I, it reminded me of、uh, Morgan、uh, Spurlock on、uh, Super Size Me. He had a, he had his mouth full of fries, and、uh, that's how I felt like. And then I raced back. Driving 40, 50 miles an hour in a 30 mile per hour area in the middle of a workday, and just not a very good、uh, feeling. Now, to be honest, there are plenty of foods I could pack for 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 the break at the tutoring center. And to be honest, a lot of times、uh, I, I'm in the middle of a fast anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. But ever since that day, I keep fantasizing about how nice and recharged it would feel if I could have five guys. Before that second class, I keep thinking about that. Not because I really want it or anything. Let's face it: the three days of the week that I'm not working there, Friday through Sunday, I, I hardly even think about Five Guys. It's one of those things that you only want it because you can't have it. It's so weird. 
Now, if I went to my boss and said, you know, I don't have a wife to bring me five guys in the middle of the day, would it be okay if I took a one-hour break? And could somebody cover me for half an hour? What do you think my boss is going to say? No way, right? It's one of those things where it doesn't reciprocate the other way around. I would so much love to have a nice, relaxed meal, what, just one day out of the week even, right? Or even once a month. You know, that's what I meant, right? Maybe, yes, I, I would love to fill in for somebody when they're, when they're health, when the pipe bursts in their house. Even though I have to come out here to sleep in my car, even though they own a house, that's fine with me. But how about, let me eat five guys for one time, right? That's what I meant by the fairness issue, right? We should all help each other out, right? Just because you are married, have kids, own a home, or whatever tradition that you, you like to think about, right? Uh, just think outside of that, right? Don't center your life around normal traditions, right? Everybody has a different taste in life.